Effective Video Marketing in a Nutshell What exactly is effective video marketing? What's the big deal? Well, it really all boils down to conversions. You can try video marketing, but that's not going to put food on your table. You have to do effective video marketing. There is a difference. Effective video marketing is all about conversions. The video has to play a role in getting the viewer to whip out their credit card and buy something or click an ad that pays you or enter their email address or zip code into a form. Whatever the case may be, the video convinces whoever is watching to take action that somehow, some way, leads to you making money. Clear enough? Well, video can do this in one of two ways. Either it converts the viewer directly or the video is part of the conversion process. Maybe it happens immediately or it can take some time. Whatever the case may be, video plays a role. What's so powerful about video anyway? When you're watching a video, you're actually seeing many different signals being flashed to you in the time span of fractions of seconds. You may not even be aware of them, but all these signals are being sent to you and subconsciously you're putting these signals together. If you're watching a video spokesperson, you're paying attention to their facial expression, their demeanor, the way they say their words and how quickly they're talking. These and other nonverbal signals paint a picture. It all leads to the question, should I trust this person or not? Which is very much related to the question that everybody asks in the back of their minds, what's in it for me? Video enables marketers to answer those two questions in a very powerful way, and it can be traced to the power of the human voice. The power of the human voice. When somebody is talking to you, they're making eye contact. They're also talking to you with their voice. You're not just hearing sound signals, but these sound signals pack a lot of value. You read in all sorts of meaning depending on the tone of voice, the emotions that you detect from the voice, and how quickly the person is talking. It's easy to tell whether somebody is confident or if somebody is basically tripping over themselves. It's easy to tell whether somebody actually is an expert or if somebody is somehow just playing some sort of role. These are the things that you really cannot quite put your finger on, but you know it when you see it and you hear it. A large part of this turns on the voice component. The two factors that I outlined above combine to produce the secret to video marketing. What is the secret? It's very simple. Presence. Whether you have some sort of explainer cartoon, or you have a slideshow with a voiceover, or you're presenting a video spokesperson looking directly in the camera, it all goes back to presence. Either the video gets front and center of the viewer so as to trigger the old sales rules, or it doesn't. The old sales rules still apply. As awesome as video may look, please understand that it still follows the same old rules. What are the old rules of salesmanship? They're very basic. First, you have to get people's attention. Second, you have to filter them by interest. Not everybody watching your video is in your target market. Not everybody would want to buy. Not everybody has the problems being solved by the product or service you are promoting. Many people who view your video are just doing it out of curiosity. Maybe they have nothing else better to do. You have to weed those people out. The video has to be clear in so many ways that it's only for this type of person. That's how you get interest. Also, the video has to be set up to filter people based on their interest quickly and efficiently. Next, the video has to speak to the viewer's needs. Basically, the video is saying, now that I have filtered you by your interest, you are watching this video because you have this problem. I understand that you have this problem, and here are the most common solutions to those problems. But here are the problems with those solutions. I have something better. I have something that is cheaper, faster, more convenient, more effective, and more scalable. Finally, the old rules of salesmanship direct us to call the prospect to action. You can't just tell them about a solution, get them all pumped up, and then leave them hanging. You're not going to generate sales that way. You have to call them to action, but here's the trick. You can't just say, click here to order now. That's not going to work because everybody's doing that. Instead, you have to tie the call to action with the benefit. For example, if you want to regain the beautiful and active life that you used to have before addiction, fill out this form and claim your new reality. Do you see how that works? Basically, you pack the benefits into the call to action and you do it in a way that triggers an emotional reaction. Who wouldn't want to get their old life back? Who wouldn't want to live a life of freedom? Who wouldn't want to get out from under the crushing weight of addiction or whatever problems people are facing? Video has to incorporate these old rules and it has to do it seamlessly, quickly, efficiently, and in a compact way. Video and the rule of eight. 
What complicates video marketing is one reality that a lot of video marketers are completely clueless about. They don't even know that it exists. This is called the rule of eight. Some would say it's the rule of seven, but it doesn't really matter. It's all about multiple exposures. Let me ask you, when was the last time you saw an ad for the first time, clicked it, and bought something? I would venture to guess that those times are very few and far between. The truth is, most people would want to see an ad enough times for them to at least feel that it's familiar enough for it to be worth taking the risk of clicking. They click, they see what it's about, and then they don't buy anything. Then they see the ad again and again, and then eventually they click through and then some of them would convert. The great thing about video is that you can override the power of the rule of eight. Basically, when you're promoting a video, the vast majority of people in your target market probably would not bother with it. But once you get a certain percentage to click through and the vast majority to bounce out, you would then have a few watching the video all the way through and then converting. In other words, its low click-through rate is more than offset by its amazing power to get people to dwell on the content. And the more they dwell on the content, the more they get branded and they can keep coming back. They also start changing how they feel. Their feelings start to change regarding your ads. You're no longer some sort of mysterious or unknown quantity. Instead, they feel that somehow, some way, they kind of know you. You're not exactly a stranger. This gives you a tremendous competitive advantage. The more ads you show, the higher the likelihood that eventually they would click through and make it all the way through the conversion process. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.